Sarah Pizzini from More Action Collectibles. This is the Witchblade character from their Witchblade line. Obviously, you know the uh, character from Top Cow or perhaps later from oh, short-lived uh, TV attempt. Uh, pretty cool piece right here. Um, got all that detailing, claw and the outfit. Uh, and then this crazy thing, you got uh, the stand and the base. All around pretty cool. About 12, 13 inches on the... Uh, on the card, as you would expect, with a lot of uh, McFarlane type pieces, but also on these more action collectibles, and then about five and a half, six inches on the figure itself. Not a ton of articulation, as was pretty common around that time. This is from around 99, I'm going to suspect, maybe 2000. 98, I was wrong on both counts. 98, uh, so that was pretty common to have tons and tons of. Uh, detail not a lot of articulation so let's focus right in you got sarah pizzini character she's got the hips seem to be articulated does that get you i don't know she can just kind of kick out i guess and then um the shoulders appear to be articulated maybe i'm trying to see maybe the head but i can't guarantee that especially with all that hair yeah with that hair I doubt even if even if it is articulated, if she can move her hair or her head all that much. But at least four points of articulation right there. That is about it. But doesn't matter because you're going to put her on that stand and put her in your collection, or you're going to just leave her looking like this, still in the packaging, designed to really show off this figure, especially with all that crackle, the lightning uh, effect in the background. Looking really cool. And that, it appears, is exactly what our consigner or somebody who owned it before them did. You can see, uh, I do want to point out, there was thumbtacked to a wall or to a cubicle or something. Somebody got a chance to enjoy it and love it. Hopefully, uh, you will just as much. Point out the rest of the figure. How is it on discoloration? It's starting to yellow around the uh, extremities. You can see my hand underneath it. Not the worst yet. It's not getting there, but it is beginning to discolor. Show you any kind of crush wear or cracks, dents. I'm not seeing any of that along the corners or on there. Showed you this, but the rest of the card looks overall pretty good. Maybe a little bit of a ding right there, slightly right there. Some bending to this side. We'll flip it over. You can see that that bending that we mentioned just earlier a little bit better side this angle same with this you can definitely see that a little bit better but otherwise pretty good so you know a couple of scrape ups the corners but otherwise the rest is looking good you got that hole where it was displayed but if you're going to display it like that yourself well heck it's already pre-drilled for you and then sarah pizzini as witchblade with all of her accessories can't go wrong. From Top Cow Comics and more action collectibles, Witchblade.